Hello everyone and welcome to Canals of Spirit TV 3. My name is Thomas and next to me is Louis and we're here in Hungary for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Louis, as always, in the commentary box with me. How are you, mate? I am fantastic, mate. Good to be back once again for another round at the Hungaro Ring. Yeah, this was, or this should have been, the Grand Prix where the big cost meeting would have taken place. Um, Unfortunately, COVID yes. uh, ruined that completely. Uh, but yeah, it would have been lovely. Uh, but at least we've got something to look forward to, to put it in that way. Um, other than that, uh, full grid today. Things you absolutely love to see. Uh, we only got one replacement in. Alex Van Baker, he is replacing Justin in the Red Bull. The rest of the guys are all permanent drivers. Uh, K-Mark changed uh, teams changed names changed to whatever he liked um, but it is still K Mark from last week so no worries CRX Moss we're on board with him now he is back in his Renault um, so yeah lovely stuff absolutely so early station quality it's a pretty uh, strategy around here one stop strategy um, even in this game, the soft tyre, I uh, know previous installments you get away of really wanting to be on starting on the medium, but you can do the soft to hard strategy, can't you, uh, around here? Or even the soft to medium, you can stretch it, it if, uh, if you have like a fresh... It's yeah. normally more so if you're, uh, well, you can try it in the top 10, but definitely if you're outside the top 10. Um. Oh, uh, people are saying that you're a little bit quiet, mate, so maybe you can either pull up your volume, get the mic closer. For me it was yeah, all good, but it. on stream, yeah. you never know. Yeah, let's get the mic super clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's now. get it as close as possible to almost eat it. Yeah. Nah, no, uh, but um, we will probably be seeing people go for a soft hard strategy around here. Definitely the guys inside the top 10 will qualify on those softs. But like you've mentioned, uh, people are probably going to go to qualify on those mediums. Uh, which will be a very interesting choice. Got some inside information as well that the hard soft strategy is one of the most overpowered strategies ever. Especially around here. So we need to keep an eye out for the guys who start on the hearts outside of the top 10 because they will most likely gain positions left, right and center uh, at the end of the race. Uh, have a good evening spot as well in the comment sections. Have a good one, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, I did that strategy last season. Unfortunately, I just wasn't... The crucial thing was I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> but, the second, but that soft stint was brilliant. At the end, uh, the, the pace you have is, is so much more than the uh, than the guys around you. Dylan puts in a 114.0 together with Sirius Mars. Connell is leading the way with a 113.7. So he is doing all good. Excuse me for that little bit of a hiccup. Um, let's actually go on board with Reggae. He is about to start his flying lap through turn 2 now. In fact, he already started it through turn two on towards the flat out turn three and the end of sector one. And he invalidates it running through turn three. So that is his lap over and he needs to go again. Yeah, there's a few people. Uh, Steve's about to set his first lap time now. Going down the main straight. He P4. Now, I think it was last season where we had rain, but the track dried out towards the end of the quality session. With Did Steve... Yeah. On pole, I think. I think uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the qualifying session. Yeah, we we had both Mercedes drivers. Uh, I think it was Harold and Steve uh, yeah. on the front row of the <laughs> and Steve. I remember that one. <laughs> I remember yeah. now what happened to Steve because he absolutely torpedoed then the car hit towards turn one, and he absolutely blew up then. Um, I've seen videos. I can't exactly tell what Dan said because then I would have to donate. To a lot of people, um, but he wasn't very pleased. Let's put it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, who would be when you get uh, hit from behind? But it was one of those. It wasn't deliberate. It was just uh, Steve forgot. Uh, well, that 
momentarily lapse of concentration breaking. Uh, doesn't help. Doesn't help at all. No. Well, at the moment, Connell is keeping his form from the latter half of last season and into the beginning of this season. Original poll, 113.7. Three tenths nearly ahead of Mars. Um, but so far, the big hitters haven't really set a lap time yet. We're still looking. Obviously, Joel Granger has done, but not a very quick one. Um, also, looking at Muzza, he's on mediums, Charlie, Jake Sack, Rag, Reggae, um, and Harold, obviously. Uh, they're all on. Harold's on our lap. I'm on board with Rodent, he's coming towards turn 13, up towards turn 14, last corner to the right. And let's see what our captain can do in the Ferrari. Onto the line, Rana has one out of ERS, but he puts it up into P7 with 114.6, really close to the time of Joe and Sygate, but he puts it right in between P7. Nicely done. So Harold is still on our lap, a lot of these guys are on our lap, so moment. Um, anyone on a hot map? Uh, I think Robert or Kels swag must be... Let's see, let's actually go on board with Robert. He unfortunately invalidated his lap. Kels swag is still on a lap though. So let's get on board with the other Dutchie as he is about to end sector one. No split yet because he has set an a lap time in, yeah, oh, roll it, curb, watch out, because it oh. will lose the car, and that's exactly what Kelsey Wack does. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that, it's so easy to, you carry you carry the speed, you get a bit more grip, you turn, uh, you're turning on that right-hand corner, and you just, you think the car's going to understeer, and it doesn't, it actually bites, and you clip that curb, uh, and it just turns the rear row around. In the race, a little bit harder to recover than it is on light fuel load and fresh softs, but um, he fortunately was able to get away with it and uh, lives to fight in for another attempt of a quality lap. But uh, will he go for another run or will he just go in the pits? I guess the better thing would be just to go in the pits, save those tyres, you might need them in the race. Yep, here we have Charlie at the end of Sector 2 with a 52.9. Uh, oh, that's his full lap time, unfortunately. Can't see his sector split, although I can. On the test system, it should give me a second sector split. Yes, it does. 26.4. That is the same what CRX Gods did. So, can he put it up into P5? It's going to be P6 for Charlie. Good lap time from the Alpha Tower driver. Yeah, and Harold, oh, Harold's invalidated, so uh, he is in the pits. It's alright though, and Jake Sack now about to do his lap, first lap now. Oh, I definitely, I'm not going to be on board with Jake He is lacking like no tomorrow. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Jacek, yeah. He, he puts it up into P4, 14.1. Uh, let's actually see what Reggae can do. We saw him invalidate on his first run. He comes through turn 13 now. What can the Williams driver do? His teammate is in P17, has been able to set a lap time yet. Yeah, so he is going to be the first one for Williams to put in the lap through the last corner now. With the DRS and the DRS still enabled, he puts it up into P1. 113.7 as well. Small margins at the top. You absolutely love to see it. Yep, four hundredths of a second. Lovely job. So we got the usual crew back in there. Oh, and Mars had a spin. What a shame, Mars was a tenth up on his previous best, and he's managed to spin it in the final corner. So... In the final is, corner? Okay. Yeah, really unusual. So Mars is not going to improve, but he was... I mean, he was a tenth up on his sector... after sector two. Um, you know, if he did improve further, he would have been knocking on the door of the top three. Instead, he's going to have to have another go. And one more, he'll only have one more set of softs to do it. So, uh, interesting there. What else we got? Oh, Gods is on a lap, I think. No, he's not. He's saying he's with Yeah, of course, because Gods Ooh. is actually 13 7. Oh. Yeah, I was on board with K Mark. He ran wide, coming out of 
I did the hot lap and I still can't remember which turn it is. Let's work it backwards 12. Turn 11. He ran wide and validated his lap time. But he, I think he got scared by one of the guys who just gone out of the way. I think that was the case. But we never know. What we do know is um, K Mark invalidated his lap time and has to go again. Breaks the 80 meter board. Don't know why you should do that, but never mind. Uh, Robert invalidated again. Interesting. I wanted to see what he could do. Uh, but he is not happy, I know. Um, he hasn't put in a lot of practice yet, so that could be the case. He was greeting, I think that was uh, Connell. Now, weirdly, Roland's doing a lap now on mediums. Uh, so I'm guessing he's just doing it because he wants to save a set of softs for the race. He doesn't feel like he wants to use all three softs in quality. Weird, unless he feels he can do a quicker lap time on the mediums because the soft run was slow. We've got Axel Skelton, I hope I pronounced that one right. He said he just joined Mercedes Fur Driver in AU4. Welcome, mate. Happy to have you. I want to say in the team. That's happy to have you in the league, I should say. Happy you joined, mate. Feel well, welcome. A warm welcome. Uh, Kelswag invalidated as well. He did a Robert. Both invalidated again. Uh, what can Harold do? He, he just started his lap. Down towards turn one. The pole sitter of last week. Can he do it again? Yeah, currently our pole sitter from last week is in P20. Dead last. Can't see that lasting. <laughs> Unless he has an error. And makes a mistake. Coming up into turn four. Oh, he carried a lot of speed, but he, he it looked like the rear end was going to come out there, but it didn't. He managed to hold it well. He's got some traffic coming up ahead, but then gets out of the way. Nice to come on, That was neat through the chicane. A lot of commitment through the left and right handers here. Great lines taken. Full commitment. Almost flat out here to back out a little bit. So we don't have a comparison just because he hasn't done a lap before. Break a little bit late there. Missed the apex by a couple of feet. Lost him only probably a, oh, probably a tenth. Final turn. Neat early on the power. Already ran out of the RS, but it's a 134. <laughs> it looked like such a solid lap as well. That was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it really was. Only say that little lockup and lo he missed the apex, he probably lost maybe even ten or half a tenth from that. But apart from that, everything was very solid. And Connell, he also improved to 113.5. So it's all it's getting there now on these lap times. So getting into the low 113s. And we've got three and a half minutes to go. Three and a half minutes to go. Harold with once again a very strong lap. It is I have our golden now, getting past the McLaren, oh no a Red Bull was on the grass, it's all good, as he can continue on his lap through the chicane now, oh, as he was about to lose the back end, that cost him a little bit, through the technical section now, left and right handers following each other up quite quickly through the long and fast right hander at the end of sector two he's improving by two and a half tenths that's gonna bring him that's not even gonna gain him one position he needs to improve even more i think he lost a lot of time coming out of the chicane let's see what the sector three is looking like coming through the last turn now he is very low on the ers does he have a little bit left he does with the drs but it's not gonna improve in that he's not going to improve a position he improves to 114.9 but it's not going to be enough p16 it is charlie's going to be kicking himself he invalidated he, he, by coming out of Roland curve yeah i think he expected the rear end to to lose more than it did he just sort of corrected something that didn't need to be corrected and went off line just slightly off the track and that was it invalidation so he's now got a rush to the pits. I don't even know if he has another set of softs. He might not, you know. Carrying a bit too much speed to the pit lane. Just lost the back end. On board with Kelswick now. He is... Turn 9 and turn 10. 
and he will come to the end of sector two. Is he gonna get a validated lap? He is taking it really cautious. I was on board with him through the technical section, and you can just see him taking absolutely no risks whatsoever to put in that lap because overtaking around here is almost impossible. So, a good qualifying position is what you need through the last corner now. What can Kelswerk do on a really cautious lap? What is it going to bring him? It's going to bring him a P10, a 114.3, and he will be hoping for people to improve. Otherwise, he will be in one of the worst positions on the grid. Absolutely. So everyone's heading out now for their final runs. This is where it gets exciting. Maza already started his lap, so let's actually get on board with the Ferrari driver. And he will have a lot of traffic in front. Kelsway goes out of the way nicely, really well done. Through turn three now, and I think that is a that's a racing point. That's Connell. That's out of the way as well. Good job by Connell. And this is a tricky part. You can like try to be on track at different times, but that will mean that you will be doing your hot lap in a lot of traffic most of the oh. time. Oh, it's Maza oh. off, and that's a crash from the Ferrari driver, and Maza into the wall. And that's his qualifying over, P7 it is, if not worse. Yeah, what a shame. Just got a little bit wheel spin, trying to correct it. You got the old tank slapper. That's all she wrote. So we got... Is it Delandry or Deland Delanda? Delanda? Uh, it's, it's Dylan. Just Dylan. Dylan. Okay. Yeah. That is poor for me. Dylan is... Uh, just started his hot lap. Let's actually go on board with him then. Blue turn three now. Yeah, he did. Oh, we got some yellows. Yeah, and there's people like waiting for each other. Dylan invalidated. That's his qualifying over. So let's see if he get on board with Connell. Can he improve on his 113.5? And can he get pole position? That's going to be the main question. K Mark's retired. That's a crash as well. Wait, who is the first one to. Take the checkered flag. Is it gonna be Joe? I think it's gonna be Joe. Let's just to get on board with him coming through the last corner now. He's got a Williams yeah. behind. That must be Robert. Or is it Rach? I don't know. Joe takes P P2. I didn't see all that one coming. Didn't see. Come on, Thomas. Grammar. 113.4. Just about. P2, almost P1, really well done by Joe, his teammate, Dan, is coming across the line now, what can he do? Oh, he remains to P16, Baker, he goes into the pits, Jay Prentice has invalidated, it's gonna be Connell. Yeah, Connell is up by just under a tenth after sector two. He, oh, improves, he improves, but not enough because Harold improved as well. Really well yeah. done by Harold. Reggae improves to P3. Gods invalidated. Ronan is not on a lap. Mars is improving to P6. Saiga into the pits, and that's your qualifying over. And it's Harold on pole position once again. Yeah. Very close, though. Very close margins in this field. We've gone from one of the longest tracks with the low downforce setups to one of the shorter tracks on the calendar with the highest downloads, uh, down, downloads downforce. But uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's still super close. Uh, which should be at a shorter track anyway, but yeah, it's going to look forward to the race of these lap times. Yeah, top five separated by less than two tenths. Yeah, this is brilliant. It is really is. It's uh, not even a second down towards P10. So, uh, yeah, really well done. From all of the drivers involved, uh, Ricky put in a good comment actually. He said that because of all the people going for slots, it wasn't really worth it um, going on to the mediums. And that was a really good shout actually. No one actually tried to put on the mediums um, with Quali. Um, Limi, you absolutely love to see it. He is in the chat. He says, am I late? No, mate, you're exactly on time for the start of the race. You missed qualifying. That's a little bit disappointing, but you're in time for the away we go. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so here we have it. Harold on pole position. Connell P2, Reggae P3, Joe P4, Dylan P5, Mars P6, Gods P7, CRX guys, 
next to each other. Really well done. Um, Roland P8, Massa P9, Saike P10, Jacek P11, Robert P12. He needs to watch out for Jacek lacking. Um, Steve P13, Kelswag P14, Charlie P15, Dan P16, Baker P17, Gordon P18, J Prentis P19, and K Mark P20. He hasn't been able to put in a lap time, and um, that's quite a common thing around here. Still unlucky for K Mark. Almost 50 people watching. You absolutely love to see it. All yeah. welcome to the live stream. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hopefully you guys are still safe from the coronavirus. And hopefully we can bring you the entertainment you need to get you through quarantine or whatever you are in at this point. Yeah. Um, try for the race, it seems like. Uh, looking at the sky, I don't think we're going to see any rain. But uh, that was the same uh, for Belgium last week. And we saw rain at the very end. So if someone can put in the weather report for the race, that would be absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, let's get ready for the formation lap. Oh, we got someone. It's Baker. Baker he pressed X. In the sin bin for you. Right, so we're 15 seconds before the session starts. What's your top three going to be, Thomas? Um, I think Harold sawing his dominant performance last week as well. I think he is just going to take it. He is going to take the win. Second place is going to be a tricky one because I expect Reggae to be aggressive and trying to take the P2. So I would say him P2 and um, let's actually go for a surprise one. Let's actually put Joe up into P3. I think he can uh, he can challenge for the podium as well. Yeah, I'm going to go Harold P1, just because he seems, although it's one lap pace, he's also got that very good, very good race consistently, weak race pace. P2 and P3 is a little trickier, uh, I think, you know, as long as they get out of, stay out of trouble, I think Reggae, um, I think Reggae and Joel are going to be second and third, I think. Connell needs to show, I know you had the race pace, but it's sort of, um, He's getting there, but I feel like he just he, you know, this might be the race where he proves it. Where you know, in the race, he keeps it clean, makes the right pit stop choices, you know, right stopping at the right time. But at the moment, I still think Reggae and Joel have the better race pace overall. So I'm going with Harold, Reggae, and Joel. Harold, Reggae, and Joel. Jacek left out of the session, so I need to watch out because he will be going as soon as the lights go out. We will have to glitch, so I'm not gonna get lost at the way by that one. Um, I've I've actually done some research today. Believe it or not, I actually did it. Um, last week there were only two teams where both drivers scored points. It were Alfa Romeo and Mercedes. Now Joe is in the points, Seiger is in the points, but the other guys Steve and Dan are not in the points. So um, interesting. Now we've got both Renaults and both Ferraris in the points. So, very interesting scenes. Um, we've got Steve, Kelser, and Dan on the hearts, which I already said there was going to be a very strong strategy, hearts to softs, so keep an eye out for them. Everyone lining up to the grid with the rest of the top 10 on mediums, three guys on hearts, top 11 actually on softs. It is Monday, the 22nd of February, it is Harold on pole position once again. Will he remain championship leader going into next week's race? Or is it going to be another one who can challenge him? Is it going to be Connell? Is it going to be Joe? It's lights out and away we go for the Hungarian Grand Prix. It's a really good start by Harold. But is it going to be a good start from Connell as well? Dylan, Dylan is already down the inside of the Williams Reggae. Is he going to get the move stick? Yes, he is. Or are they still side by side? Are they still side by side? But Dylan gets him from B3 for Dylan. Lovely job there from Dylan. Meanwhile, further. Oh, the Renault's in the back of the Williams. The Williams somehow oh, holds it. Reggae. Big wing damage for Joe. Wing yeah. damage for Joe. Yeah, Joel, and it's chaos in the midfield. But the Renault. Oh, this could end up being nasty, nasty here in turn four. They all learn to fuck this through. <laughs> what is going Crazy. on? Oh, there's a crash from it's K Mark. K Mark's hit the wall. Though, uh, but he's still in. He's still in. So no safety car. But yeah, Joel got wing damage, but it was the Renault, I 
think it was Gods that hit the back of Rege. Rege somehow held it all together. But the Renault of Gods has massive wing damage, so a lot of the top contenders have been severely hit in the opening lap here. Yeah, Dylan must have made a mistake as well. He dropped down to P11. Uh, don't know what happened to him, but he made a big mistake. It was uh, was it CRX Mars uh, who ran into the back of Reggae, or was it his teammate Gods? I don't know. Uh, Mars is still in P5. Gods dropped all the way down to P17. Bad start for him as well. We've got Joe into the pits. He's going to replace his front wing. We've got Gods into the pits as well. He is probably going to change front wing as well. Um, let's look at the damage. We can see it with the beautiful test system of Thibaut. Shout out to you, mate. Um, yeah, it's Gods, K Mark, and uh, Joe with wing damage. The rest is all clear. Right, okay. So, JSAC still, well, we're joined, still Ghost at the moment. So, effectively, Reggae is in that net P3. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, Ghost just sort of, uh, God, sorry, just caught out. Just out. You know, heavy braking, heavy fuel loads. Old tyres, it's just one of those. So, uh, unfortunately, they're going to have to rely on a safety car to get back in with the uh, field because essentially they're going to even struggle to make the hards last um, throughout the race. Oh, there's a racing oh, point. Oh, racing point, that's JSEC. Yeah, it's glitched out of the way. Uh, I don't know what's gone on. It's. Uh, yeah, oh my days, look at this. It's Charlie on the mediums, already up into P5, and he's literally pushing. The Renault through the corners now. Is he gonna get past already? He won't have DRS on this lap, so he needs to do that on pure straight line speed. Is he able to do so? He's looking, he's looking. But he is not going for a move as of yet. He has to stick behind the Renault for now. Those mediums are gonna be good. You'll see they have a brand new set of mediums as Jay Sack has retired in the pits for him. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, but I think Jacek is just doing this purely because of his connection. He already said it in yeah. the chat as well that he was gonna see how it was gonna pan out, and it didn't oh, really well. Oh, Charlie oh, he lost, lost it on Roland oh. Kerb, and that is Saiga getting fast, or is it? No, it's not. It's better than that. Roland had a spin in Roland Curve. No way! Did I miss that? No he way! Roland. Roland spun it just behind Charlie. <laughs> Roland lost it in Roland Corner. <laughs> the scenes. We've seen it. We've saw, I've seen it anyway. You guys didn't, but I saw it. It was one of the odd, you know, the, the rare occurrences. Oh, but, uh, yeah. this should have been our stream. I've missed the <laughs> best moment of my life. <laughs> but uh, Charlie just managed to hold on to his, but he lost a bit of time. Uh, Oh, it's P5 now, but he lost a bit of time to the medium. Was he behind Mars, or was he past? No, was Charlie, he behind... Charlie was still behind Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's actually lost a bit of time. But those mediums will stay strong, and the softs will start to fall away now in these next few laps. Yeah, the, the, the soft runners are slowly thinking about making a pitch. We can see them making a big difference compared to the soft runners, but... It will come back to the medium runners and hard runners eventually. Uh, it's Maza. He needs to defend from Dylan behind. Dylan is showing some great pace. Um, unfortunately for him, he dropped down to it was P12, already up to P8 now. Is he gonna get past Maza anytime soon? That's gonna be the question. He is almost pushing the Ferrari through sector two. But can he get past? And this is where the big problem of Hungary appears. You can't overtake, especially not if the car in front of you gets DRS as well. That's right, exactly. So let's have a look there. So Harold has got a nice little 1.7 second lead over Connell. Connell is a further two seconds ahead of Reggae. So at the moment, these top three are setting away. Mars, 0.7. Charlie got a penalty on that last lap. So he's, at, he's actually falling under pressure from Sygate. Oh, look at this. Well. 
Sorry to interrupt. It's gonna go. Yeah, Dylan oh. gonna go for the move down the inside. You saw that one coming. And I think he's gonna get it on exit. Or is he? No, Massa with a brilliant exit is gonna stick it down the inside. He keeps his nose in. And that leads Dylan to have a long way around. But Dylan rolls it round the outside. What a brilliant move from Dylan. And that's Dylan up into P7. Uh, from you there, you love to see it. Um, oh, yeah, what a good move. Uh, you know, fair play to Mozart, he didn't want to, he didn't, he could have squeezed him out there, but he chose, he gave him as much room as he could get away with. And uh, and the McLaren driver chose to keep the foot planted and have the inside line for turn three. Nicely done. Really move from McLaren now. Let's see if he can make an overtake on Seigate. Oh, he picks up a three second penalty in the process coming through turn 11. That was um, Seigate clean of penalties. Charlie already picked up a penalty as well. We will probably seeing a lot of penalties around this track where it's really easy to pick up one. He's running wide through turn four, through turn 11. Uh, the chicane is a really nasty one as well. So, yeah, a lot of places where you can pick up warnings and penalties. Absolutely. Now the McLaren and Jay Prentice is eyeing up Muzza. Go for DRS. Jay Prentice is going down the inside. It's a late one. Muzza sticks it around the outside again, <laughs> just like he did with the previous lap. It's a deja vu for Muzza, but I think the McLaren might have it. Yeah, yeah. he does this time. Jay Prentice had to move on before going into turn four, uh, turn two, sorry. Nicely done by oh. Jay Prentice. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, now it looks like the soft of Muzza is, that, that's a sign that Muzza's struggling now. The medium's been good. Oh, we have got a crash to Williams. It's, it's Robert. Oh, oh no. no. And that's wing damage as well. Ah, it's on the mediums as well. So he's going to have to pit onto hards. Yep. You know, the idea of obviously being on the mediums is that you can pit for hards much later. So your hard tyres are that much better. Uh, in the second half of the race, but the idea is to not have damage. Uh, so, Robert, it's unfortunate. Uh, we got a big train here. The, the Mercedes yep. of Sygate is starting to hold up Dylan. Yep, he is forming a big train, and I think. Oh, Dylan! Oh, oh in my days! He lost it coming out of the last turn. <laughs> And now Jay Prentice is through. This is the ideal moment for Jay Prentice to maybe think about a move on Seigate because Jay Prentice must be running low downforce once again. We saw him doing it last season and I don't think, uh, well, I can't see a reason why he should have changed it. Yeah. Look at that. Um, yeah, I'll see the mediums and you're right. He's definitely running low slipstream because of that uh, low downforce because he's got so much uh, straight line speed even more so with that DRS so uh, and, and with the medium tyre he's going to have the better traction and a grip now all working very nicely we've got yellows in sector 2 but I don't know why because no accidents in that sector right now but it'll be interesting to see if Sygate does doesn't hit this lap I think uh, let's actually get easy. on board Harold is already what happened to Harold? Oh yeah. Well, Harold is still in P1, but it shows P19 on That's screen. Scary. Yeah, yeah he scary. stays out. Connell is in. Connell is in. So P2 is in. Oh, but this is really annoying that Harold is in P19. Um, Reggae stays out. Charlie stays out, of course. Sygate stays out as well. And this is Jay Prentice getting yeah. past. Down the inside, job done. Jay Prentice up into P4, that is, because Harold is still in the lead. Yeah, he's got some straight line speed in that McLaren. Yellow's in sector three. No or is it not? I'm slowly starting to doubt it now. No, Harold. Oh, yeah, Harold is like comfortably ahead of Reggae. So I think it's. I think Harold is, P, is P1. Has to, I think it has to be an error. It yeah, should say so. Unless he had a, an accident. But I completely but no, missed that. No, no, because he's... Um, I mean, he has... It says he's done one lap less on this. I think it's... I think it's an error. It's, it's completely glitched. Uh, it's so soft. Yeah. Uh, and he hasn't... You know, he's not... He's in the same gap that he was before. He's where yeah, he's, now. he's going into the pits now. Oh, look at this. It's Reggae and Charlie. 
And Reggae decides to come in. Yep, so it's P1 and P2 into the pits. Charlie will be our new race leader. Charlie's done good in this strategy here. So for a really good first stint. Not far off the top three. He has a good chance of a top three uh, finish now. Uh, but look at Dan as well. Yeah, Elon, he's doing the hard soft strategy, Dan. He's kept out of trouble. We had um, our new third driver from Mercedes AU4, Axels. He said, this commentary is legendary. I absolutely love it. Uh, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it by both of us. Uh, yellow on the start finish straight, but nothing yellows. wrong. Yeah, it's, uh, this, this lobby is completely glitched once again. You love to see it. I remember it was this track where we had back-to-back DSCs. Uh, no, that was uh, Vietnam. That oh, was it? AM2. Oh. Well, I don't know. I don't Did we had it? I yeah. You must. I thought it I'm was confused now. Had, yeah, we had one as well. Was it Hungary? I thought it was Hungary. It wasn't last season, but it might have been last season. Um, yeah, it was back to back VSCs, like every lap, like three laps in a row. Um, wait, I have to check because Harold went on softs again. Oh, wow. But it says seven lap softs. But I... oh, he's ghosting. He's ghosting, he's ghosting as well. Um, I literally don't know what, what, like, what's really happening. He's going for I a move down the inside of... That must be Steve. Yeah, so he's definitely... He's legit, but yeah, I think he's, I think he's made an error on his... It says he's in the pits now. Oh, he's he, made contact. Yeah, he made contact, but he's solid again now. Needs yeah. it to hold it around the outside, but Steve stays in front. Connell, Connell's there, because Connell is on the hard, but I think... Oh, no, oh yeah, Harold is on the hard. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's back. It's, it's changed yeah. now, but he is still yeah. in P19. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's a glitch, basically. So he's on hard tyres. He hasn't made an error. Ah, he's yeah, ghosting he, again. He was solid yeah. because he was into the pits. And as soon as right. he comes out on track, he is ghosting again. So, right. okay. But for everyone watching, for all the 38 people watching right now, it's Harold in the net P1 with Connell as close as possible in P2. And, yeah. Uh, but Charlie and Jay Prentice are currently in the medium runners. Oh, Connell! Gets chopped on, I want to say, but he loses the car on exit. Harold gets back past, and he should be able to make a move on Steve now. Although, did Steve get the arrest? Yes, he did. So he needs to defend for his life to make sure Harold is not going to get past. But Harold is going to get past. Down the inside. And I think that is chopped done for Harold. And Connell now needs to make a move as well. Down the inside. Really well done by Connell. He knew he had to make that move and he did it. Really well done by Connell. Great racing. And Steve now has to let the leaders go through. Yeah, so this is the true battle. Connell, careful. Don't, don't get too greedy with that curb. But Harold now a free air. And he, he could have the pace to run away from this now. Yeah, we saw him doing um, it on the softs and he's probably going to do it on the hearts as well. So we're expecting the medium runners to be pitting around lap 15, 16, sort of time to then stick on the last 20 laps with the hard. Currently, Charlie extending the gap. Uh, extending the gap to be even between him and Jay Prince. About five seconds. Dan is a further five seconds behind with Baker. Just not able to pass Dan, even with the uh, medium tyre. Working out at the moment. It is here RX Mars trying to get past Kels to swag for P7 in this race. Um, Mars overtook Reggae, so I think this is the net P3 we're watching right now. He goes down the inside of oh, Kels swag and he makes contact. It's the Renault round at turn one and Reggae gets his net P3 back. Is this Reggae gonna get past Kels immediately? Yes, it is. I mean, for the. It's one of those where Kelster had the older hard tyres. Um, you know, 
games. He started on the hards, and it's really on the hards, and on the hards. And uh, he just got out. Oh, look at this. Buzzer lining up, trying to find a way past Golden. Obviously, Golden's not hitted yet. Buzzer, though, is on four lap old hards. And that's an interesting little battle. And obviously, this track is so tricky to overtake on, so narrow, and this section, there's no heavy braking points, so even with this massive pace advantage. Oh, Golden tries oh. it though, I was gonna say. Oh. Yeah, Massa takes advantage of it immediately, although he has to move out of the way for Golden. Kelswag goes into the pits. He did pick up wing damage, yep, on the right hand side. Wing damage for Kelswag, that was the reason why he was slow. And Maza now, can he make a move down the inside of the Alpha Tauri in front? Is he gonna go for it? He is gonna go for it! They move by Maza down the inside. Six is knows him, but it's not gonna be enough. And Golden should be getting the better exit. Yep, he did. So Golden remains in P8, Maza P9, and Dylan is desperate to get past these guys in front. Maza's got no energy as well, so he's gonna always struggle. You know, he's underpowered right now. Whilst the guys around him. Golden went a little bit wide there, but no penalty. But Muzza's going to have to try and save, and it's actually quite tricky to save energy around here because there's not many, other than turn one, there's not many heavy breaking points. So here he goes, Muzza down the inside. Golden's going to give him the room because he knows he's going to have the inside for the next corner. Smart driving from Golden. The yeah, Massa completely and took that. Dylan. He completely took it wrong. Dylan in three seconds oh, in the process. Oh, oh Massa pushes him onto the grass. Well, that would have been an awesome move, but fortunately, it didn't crash either. It's all kicking off here. Oh, Golden's crashed and Muzz has hit him. So Muzz has got wing damage. Oh, Muzz is going to be gutted, but he couldn't do anything about it. But Golden lost the back end with those older tyres. And yeah, Muzz just hit the back of him, or side of him, and that is Muzz's race. Massively scuppered, unfortunately. It's Mars trying to go around the outside oh, of Dylan. Mars has, has spun it on the curbs. Is yeah. it? That's, that's Mars. Was it, was it Mars, Mars last time as well? No, it was, or was, was it God's? God's? I don't know, I can't remember. I think, I think it was Mars, actually. I think it was, yeah, it was Mars that spun before. So that's the second time spinning in turn one. Oh my days. And now he's got the captain at his back. Just be careful with those hards aren't overheating. Don't touch that in I just went on board with Roland to see if he was gonna do a Roland, but he didn't. Oh, Charlie's got a penalty running wide at the end of the final corner. Talking about trains, by the way, Dan is uh, forming one behind him. He's got Baker, uh, Harold, and pretty much Connell all attached to his Alfa Romeo. And he's doing actually a pretty good job because I remember that Baker is stuck behind Dan now for a couple of laps already. He just can't get past. Yeah, it's... Uh Dan's doing a good job, and he, I'm guessing, he is going to do the soft tyre in the end as well. <sighs> the only thing is, he's going to have to try and keep the pace up on the, on the hard. Baker, interesting line through turn four. And he has got now right behind him. And, and this is going to car in Connor. front? That's Robert. That is Robert, yeah, yeah. But Robert's pretty much a lap down. Um, but yeah, it's going to help Connell massively. Connell's catching Harold, uh, Harold back up quite, uh, quite quickly now. Yeah, but that already tells the big... Oh, Dan runs away coming yeah. out of turn 12. But he remains in front of Red Bull. That actually shows and says a lot about the pace Harold has. The fact that Connell is still closing in. Well, he's yeah. been stuck behind these guys for a lap, says a lot about how big the gap was before and how big of a gap he can pull within like three lap time. It's insane. Yeah. Jay so Prentice into the pits. First one of the medium runners to go into the pits. Where is he gonna come out? He was gonna. He's gonna come out right in front of his teammate. And that is Jay Prentice in P7. And now. 
he now it's time for him to push Kenny he will at least come out in front of Baker and then Kenny come out in front of Charlie oh it's Moss and Roland is it Roland gonna go for a move down the inside yes he is Moss breaks late is he gonna do a Dylan stays round the outside yes he is oh, oh it's Roland off he tried to make that corner as well, he tried to tuck himself as tight to that part so he would have an easier turn into turn three, but got on the grass a little bit, just about survived, but allows Mars now to have a bit of uh, breathing space. Oh, we've got the helicopter view. Sorry, but I have to stick with Roland now because <laughs> we don't get this view that often. Oh, we got a pit. Yeah, Nine we've got pits. action. We've got action. I need to switch. I'm, I'm so sorry, lads. It is then still in P2, Baker into the pits, Charlie into the pits. So it is then now our new race leader of Harold in P2. Remember that. And Kono in P3 actually. Uh, Reggae is following him closely. P4. Steve still has to pit in P5. What a stint by Charlie. He's, he's actually managed to pass Reggae because Reggae was just ahead of him when Reggae pitted. So yeah. Charlie's pace on the medium was still good enough to stay ahead of Reggae and he's got seven lap pressure tyres so this could work really well for Charlie now for the rest of the race because he's only five seconds behind Connell really well on by Charlie pace, brilliant pace if he has the pace on the hards if he's any good on them like it's going to take him a bit of time to warm up but he should now and definitely towards the end of the race start to hone in it's actually going to be really interesting to see now if Connell is going to get DRS because he's 1.1 seconds yeah. behind Dan but Harold is still in between them so he should be getting DRS but I think the game is going to count it towards Dan and ah, never mind my whole calculation went through the window as he closed in within the one second gap of Dan look at this Harold is not getting DRS Or that one oh, is... Oh, he's made contact with Dan! Unless that's just me. No, he spun! Harold yeah, spun Dan, it! Him, him, it was him and Dan made contact on the exit of turn one. So Harold, Harold is actually now down the order properly. He is behind Reggae now. Yeah. And that will also mean he's behind Charlie. So Charlie... I mean, Connell now is inherent, is effectively, Connell is now the P1 once Dan pits. Dan's not going to be pitting for quite a few laps still. But yeah, Charlie, Charlie's making inroads. Charlie's 4.4 now behind Connell. He's going to start making some big, big gains. Charlie, if it weren't for the penalty situation, let's look at the penalties right now. Connell's on three seconds, Charlie's on six seconds worth. This could be interesting. Through the last corner they go. Is Connell gonna go for a move? He must be. He knows that he needs to make a move. We saw him doing it at turn two when he needed to, and he's gonna do it again at turn one. Down the inside he goes, and we've got another race leader by the name of Connell, who moves himself up into P1. Oh, look at this. Jay Prentice down the inside of Steve. He gets the job done. Really well yeah. done by Jay Prentice. Oh, and Steve actually ran into the back of Jay Prentice on Axie. Is Dylan going to get past now immediately? Yes, he is going to go for the move down the inside. They make a little bit of contact. Oh, this is going to end in tears. This is going to end oh. in tears. This is going to end oh. in tears. It's not going to end in tears, but Dylan remains in P7. There was a lot of contact between him and Steve, and Dylan won't be a happy bunny. Steve won't have, uh, he was not having anything, was he? He was just gonna, gonna, well, I'd say fair game, he was still ahead, just, you know, and uh, get his right away, but Steve, yeah, I think that's only gonna keep Dylan behind for another lap, because uh, Dylan has fresher hard tyres, yeah, it's a matter of time. But Charlie now is massively gaining, he's two and a half behind Dan, and Dan is a second point two behind Connell, so if you put that into the leader gap, that is 3.6 seconds, 3.5, 
Ooh, he gets a bit of a tank slap though. He almost did a Sebastian Vettel, but he That's puts it in the fast lap of the race, 117.7. He is pushing that car to the absolute limit. Yeah, he's absolutely like qualifying. He's got all the pace in the world in this one. And the strategy just shows you that medium to hard strategy. If you get that great start, get yourself in a good track position. In the second half of the race, it all comes to you. Look at this, by the way. Um, oh, let's actually focus on a battle between Joe and Mazza. Is Mazza gonna go for a move down the inside? No, he's not. Or is he? Or is he? Down the inside, Mazza goes. Oh, they make contact. Joe holds it round the outside, which will turn into the inside for turn two. But Mazza gets past on a much fresher mediums. Mazza in P13, Joe in P14. Didn't see that one coming. I got it right this time. Yet. Was, uh, obviously wasn't planning to be on mediums right now, but is making the most of them. And Joel obviously he pitted earlier Ooh, on. Look at this, sorry to interrupt once again, but it's Dylan going round the outside of Steve. No way you can do a move round the outside there. Brilliant racing by Dylan. And he moves himself up into P6. And Dan is finally pitted as well. So he, I guess, is going on to the softs. Now he's going on the mediums. So Dan not doing the, the hard to soft, he's doing the hard to medium run. Fair enough. Then on mediums coming out of the pits, he rejoins behind Baker. But he is on the mediums, Baker is on the hard, so he should be able to close in. And it's Moss, oh and he runs deep into turn one. And both Sygate and Provotus get past. Moss is not having any luck at all, especially not with turn one. Now Connell, he's going to be sweating, he's in a position to win. He hasn't won a race before, has he, Connell? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think he has, so right now, in he's this been... situation... Yeah, he's been on the podium think... a couple of times, but I think yeah, this is new to him. Won. Yeah, so right now, the pressure's on oh, him, yeah. and Charlie, he's seeing that Charlie is gaining on him. He'll know the penalty situation, so it won't be quite, you know, it won't be squeaky bum time as they say but he knows he can't afford to get penalties and be on the same amount as Charlie because then it really is a battle for the win uh, looking at it it's yeah still Connell has the advantage on penalties we've got to make sure he doesn't make, take any more warnings here we, uh, we've got inside information from Ricky uh, Connell won at Brazil season 6 so last season at Brazil he won um, ah, thank yeah, you very much, Ricky. Penalties, penalties yeah, I think that was on penalties as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because we're in a late safety car. It is Mars. No, it's Gods into the pits together with Joe. They're not having their best race. Oh, it's Roland and Saige going side by side. Roland remains it round the outside. And that's Roland up into P9. Really well done by the captain. Job done. Nice. Dan is on P8. Baker is now rolls the first. Baker's the one on the hard tires ahead of him. But I'm oh. feeling Dan's gonna have a little bit more advantage. Is it Chapren? Chaprenis gets put. Oh, that's Robert. That's oh my it, days. Yeah. I'm really sorry, lads. I thought uh, I thought Chapren is over to Greg, eh? but it was Robert. I'm sorry. Hype for nothing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those. The uh, the ghost can put you off sometimes. <laughs> it looks similar to a Williams. Uh, oh, we got Roberts retired. Yeah, I was well. giving out yeah, fair play. There was literally no point continuing on. Um, yeah, so I forgot. I forget. I keep forget. Oh, it's then focus on the main thing, Thomas. Switchback from Baker. No way. You love to see it. Switchback from Baker. Can he keep it? Or is Dan going to go down the inside once again? Oh, it's, it's close. Deep. But fair racing. Fair racing. Baker's got all the way around the outside. And he remains in P7. Brilliant racing from both drivers. Yeah, what I wanted to say. Uh, um, Limi. Um, I, I keep forgetting he's in the chat. I keep calling... Uh, Roland captain, but Limi says he is the only captain. That's confusing. Oh, it's... Oh, it's... Oh, my God, Robert. 
I wanted to swear there. Need to watch out. <laughs> um, it's his car on track. He is retiring now. Well done. Robert retired in a pitch, by the way. So he can't do anything about it. It's Code Masters playing up once again. He's been off track now. So we're good to go. Right. So let's see where else. We've got some battles on. Joel. Joel is pitted and he's on mediums. Got Kmart ahead of him. We've got a brilliant battle. Uh, Brian's now with Steve Baker and then Baker didn't get DRS on the last lap but he should be able to get in the DRS zone the next lap but is that then he needs to make a move now this is the only chance he can get DRS but he's not close enough won't be a move from then and he is not gonna be happy because Baker will most likely get past Steve on the next lap yeah that was crucial for Dan to get by that previous lap and it's one of those tracks, it's tricky. The mediums only have the advantage, like the medium and hard, but the medium is the better tyre, but it's not as big of a jump as it is for soft to the medium. Oh, it's K, Mark and Joe going side by side. Who's gonna come oh. out on top? It's Joe with the DRS. Old it round the outside. We've seen it a couple of times, and Joe does it as well. No, K-Mark holds it around the outside, side by side, up towards turn four. Joe oh, thinks no, better no, of no. it. No, he thinks not better of it. Still side by side, oh. and now K-Mark gets it from. No, he still doesn't get it from. They're still oh, side man. by side, up towards the chicane. And Joe, oh, K-Mark cuts it. Yeah, that's not right. You oh, that's really unfair by K-Mark. When he was already behind him and he had to cut the corner to stay ahead. That's not on. And the gods is now right up with these guys. Yeah. And meanwhile, Connell has actually been able to stabilize the gap between himself and Charlie. So I guess Charlie now, even though he's got fresh on the tires, not really making a difference now. Is Joe gonna make the move stick this time? He should be. Uh, K-Mark should have given up the position already. He's not gonna do it this time. He's not gonna defend as well. Joe down the inside. This is job done or is it K-Mark going for the switchback? We are seeing a switchback once again. Joe now needs to break late. And he does. He does. That's exactly what he needed to do. And that's Joe up into P14. Fight to the uh, very bitter end there, and Joel is actually a bit underfueled at the moment as well, so he's going to be in and off. And he has no, he hasn't really got much power either, so that's why it was a I'm little bit harder for him to make move. 100%. I'm looking forward to this. It's Steve now trying to defend from both Baker and Dan. We saw oh. Dan and Steve in turn one last season. It ended up in tears. Oh. What's oh. it gonna do this time? Free wide. He's done it both. Oh, Dan, Dan with a brilliant move up into P6. The scenes around here, you can't oh. believe it. And Baker is the one who is fishing behind the net. If the, I don't know if that's an English uh, thing, but it's a Dutch thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think it is. But uh, yeah, great opportunistic driving from Dan. We. Uh, very pleased that move and now in a really good P6 probably going to struggle to gain many more places unless some stuff occurs ahead of him Ooh, look at this Baker trying to get past Steve Baker is struggling to overtake he must be running some high downfall setup because he just can't get it working on the straight yeah um yeah, he definitely, well, Dan was able to catch both of them down the straight quite convincingly, so I think he might be right. It would make sense because Baker struggled to overtake Dan yeah. when he was behind him. So yeah, it might be just high downfalls. But can Baker do it now? They're weaving across the track if it's like Moto3. But Baker gets it done and dusted. Baker up into P7. So, lap 27 to 35. Got still a good few laps left in this race. The gap between Connell and Charlie has stayed. Last few laps now, 
2.5, 2.6. Uh, but the penalties, crucially, are still in Connell's favour as well. So at the moment, Connell has a nice gap to, uh, to P2. Um, Harold currently doesn't have any penalties. So Harold, if he can get past Reggae, will be uh, will have a chance of still getting a P2 here. Um, it's tricky for us to know because it says he's now three laps down. Which oh my! No on. way! No way! No way! No way! No oh, way! Joe God, spinning at turn four. It's not a corner where you want to go for the move and Gordon shut the door, Joe stuck his nose in and that's Joe dropping down to P16. You saw that one coming from a mile away. Yeah, it's you know, he's, uh, I think he's given up on this race now as well. Stopping his day in the office. And we've had no touch wood. We've had no safety cars or BSCs at all in this race. I think this has been Although we've had incidents, we haven't had retirements, so... No, we're, we're getting yellow flags left, right and centre, but they're for nothing, so... Yeah. yeah. Steve pitted. Steve pitted for softs. Um, I'm not sure why. Well, he, he is going to make it to the end, but... He'll make it to the end, but he's put... I guess I'm thinking it must have been damaged, because he was battling... Well, so I suppose well, did he did an early pit stop, didn't he? Didn't he start? It didn't he start on the hearts? No, no, he had to be pitted to go on the hearts early on. Um, she did. Unless he got damaged. Unless he got damaged, he was on. His hearts were on the older side. But uh, obviously now with the softs, he will. He, he'll try to catch Buzzer. But uh, pit stop, a, Steve. It says one on my screen, mate. Oh right. So he must have started oh, he on hearts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ricky with all the information that Limmy is asking why Ricky knows all of this. Uh, Ricky says, I'm in it, or I was in it. Well, I commentated over last season's AU3 race and I couldn't remember Connor winning at Brazil. So um, it's either big brains from Ricky or it's my brain being or having the capacity of a peanut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, by the way. Um, well, I wanted to switch to the McLarens, but oh, first of all, let's do a Mazza. Oh. Running outside of Sidegate. What a move. Just fitted that move, started off going around the outside of turn two and competing to turn three. Lovely move, Mazza. Really well done. Um, yeah, I wanted to say, quick... F yellow again for nothing. Quick overview. Connell is about to start lap for Oh, Airbot, three seconds. Uh, um, Connell just started lap 30. He is in P1. Charlie is in P2. Reggae is in P3. Harold is in P4. Keep that one in mind. Um, he is glitched on our screens, but we've got him racing here right behind Reggae. Now we've got both McLarens with Jay Prentice in P4, Dylan P5, and good luck, Dylan, to get past Jay Prentice because he is a rocket in the straight line. Buzzer almost lost it going out of the Panama corner. But, uh, I mean, great recovery from Muzzer. They had to do an unscheduled pit stop because of uh, hitting, hitting uh, I think it was... Golden, was wasn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, Golden, that's it. And you see where Golden is, P14, and Muzzer... Oh, bit Muzzer's going to struggle on those mediums now in the last few laps because he has done 15, 15 laps now on those mediums. He's got... He's got six more to go now, including this lap. So, uh, he's going to be struggling towards the end here. He's got to be careful not to do that rear end in corners like turn four. So far, so good. And he is catching the captain, El Captain himself. Only 5.8 behind. You see, it is Joe um, overtaking Connell again. He is on fresh. Yep, Sauce. And he is getting past the racing point and he should be getting away now. He needs to make sure he gets in front by at least a second. Otherwise he will be getting a penalty for ignoring blue flags. Um, but yeah, Connell, he needs to keep his head down. Because Charlie is only 1.9 seconds away and one mistake can cost him his victory. 
35. Lovely helicopter view once again. Thank you, Goatmasters. You're like doing everything wrong apart from this camera angle today. Isn't this like. Oh, you can make me so happy with little things. And we're back at it again. Let's see, we go to the battle between the Red Bull and the Renault. It is Sirix Gold trying to go for the move on Kelsa Swag. Nope, can't make the move. Stick, Kelsa Swag remains in P12. No points, unfortunately, for these guys. We got a bit of a. We might have a battle, though. Obviously, Connell. Charlie now has all of a sudden put the, temp, the pace on. And Connell is only just ahead on DRS at the moment. It's either two things, either Charlie decided to use a lot of ERS for that last lap. Yeah, he's on 10%. Or, or both are. Or is it Connell now getting to 23 laps on those hards, starting to drop off on the pace? Yeah, L L Limmy is in the chat. He is actually actually asking the same question. Nine laps new, nine lap newer tires. Um, has got to be worth 50 yeah, or 20%. It, Let's actually get it on second. screen. And that is correct, Limmy. You're absolutely right. Um, Connell is on 63, Charlie is on 40% average, I would say. Um, so indeed, that is 15 or 20% extra. Here we go, yeah, this is the crucial part of the race where those hards are obviously starting to give up now. Connell, he's losing that traction, that braking, uh, <laughs> the braking capacity. You can't break as, uh, as late, and you can't get on the throttle as early, not as hard. That equals slower lap time. And here we go, we is now in DRS. And penalties, still Connell with the upper hand. But, if Connell, I don't know how many more warnings he needs to get another penalty, but if he gets six seconds, the pressure very much is on as Harold gets another penalty now, um, and is actually dropped more from reggae he's completely dropped away from reggae so i don't know what happened there he um, made an error. i know what happened between the two mclarens i think it was dylan trying to go for a move on jay Prentis couldn't make it stick he got wing damage uh, dan overtook him he's now into the pits he's gonna change his front wing put on a new set of swords trying to go for the fastest lap but he will probably end up outside of the points that will mean that steve is gonna get points once again can you believe it Oh no, Charlie got prepared. Oh, that's going to end it. Charlie's got another, yeah, going too tight. Charlie's got another three seconds, and that is going to seal it. And if anything, that's going to, that could cost Charlie uh, P2 as well, because Reggae's only got three seconds of penalties. Yep. So Charlie's going to be dropping down to P3, Reggae up into P2. Jay Prentice is too far away to gain anything from it, but it, it's going to be a decent P4 for him. I think he will be happy about that one. Yeah, I think and that's massively took the pressure of Connell now, because Connell will be able to see that his rival's got nine seconds now. So he doesn't even have to defend. There's only two laps to go. He just needs to not make any silly errors, just keep it clean. Yeah. But to be and brutally honest, if I was Cornwall, I would want to finish P1 on track. And I would do Absolutely. everything I can without taking the risk to stay in P1. I think knowing Charlie, he's probably not gonna try it to make a move on Cornwall, knowing that there will be no chance of him getting that P1. But you never know, of course. If I was gonna push it to the absolute limit, just like, just try to forget about the amount of time penalties Charlie has. Fight it out on track and take that victory on track. Yeah, so, let's see, it's lead five sanction. Uh, it's gold and then uh, K mark. Yeah. <laughs> K mark of 31 lap old hearts. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on board with Connell first of all because I don't want to miss him finishing the last lap and there are no big battles going on. It was pretty spread out. They gave us a brilliant race to commentate. Um, I have to admit it. Um, the Coke Masters, they were a little bit disappointed today but 
nothing too bad. In fact, Jay Prentice is not gonna get uh, P4. It's gonna be P5 because Harold is the one in P4. Keep forgetting about him. We're up around the top of the racetrack now. Very much, it is a very narrow circuit, particularly for these type of cars. Uh, this former of uh, F1 cars, this era as such. Um, I'm a bit easier when we change the ranks next year. We're overtaking and much easier, hopefully, for following in this game. Not quite so bad. We're coming into the final couple of corners. And a historic win is beckoning for Connell. Connell through the last turn now. Brilliant performance by him. Took advantage of Harold spinning after the pit stops and he's gonna take victory in season seven round two here on hungary charlie p2 which will be p3 because reggae takes p2 on penalties harold will be no he harold's behind jay prentice harold is behind jay prentice yeah so jay prentice p4 harold p5 then is gonna take p6 baker p7 Prophodes P8. This is so confusing. <laughs> Maza P9, and it's gonna be Saige taking the final point. Unless Steve is gonna Steve is gonna get it on penalties. Is Steve gonna score points once again? No, he isn't. He does. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because of Harold. So Steve P11, Dylan P12. Which will be P13 as Golds will take P12. Kelsey Swag P14. Golden P15 with K Mark in P16. Joe P17. And Mars already finished. Yeah, Mosa was desperately struggling at the end there. Him and Sygate. 26 laps on the mediums for Sygate. Unreal. 21 for Mosa. Let's see, um, can I get the, can I see the difference in time between everyone? No, I can't. Uh, hmm. Because I want to see what the difference is between Harold and Dan. Did they both pick up Dan at three seconds? Harold had three seconds. Okay, yeah, never mind. So it's, um, Harold P5, then P6. Yeah. No, I think. Uh, we either have to wait for Harold to come across the track, or we have to wait the full. Yeah, we have to wait the full one minute before the session ends. I just, I can't believe it. We're we're almost onto F1 2021. And these things are still in the game. I can't. I literally can't believe it. Like they, it, it. This could have caused some serious chaos for the ones who are like putting in the point system for like our championship, our league, or for the drivers as well. Because this whole lobby is glitched now. Who knows what could have happened next? Luckily, it stayed how it is. Looking at Harold. Did he have wing damage? Ah, uh, Harold. So Harold had wing damage. That's why he fell back so far. He must have tried to move Ooh, on okay. Reggae, or maybe an accident. He had wing damage in the end. Fair enough. There we go to the podium. Like in the moves. Connell popping the champagne. As he is moonwalking onto the top step with Reggae in P2, Charlie in P3. Charlie with a brilliant strategy to make his way outside of the top 10. Up into P2 on track, P3 on Penalties. So, 
Here we have it, the final standings for today. Connor P1, Reggae P2, Charlie P3, Chip Prentice P4, it is uh, Harold P5, then P6, Baker P7, Roland P8, Maza P9, and Saige P10, Steve P11, Gods P12, Dylan P13, Kelsey P14, Golden P15, Kmark P16, Joe P17, Mars P18, Harold is not there, Robert P19, Chasek P20. I, I can already tell um, that this is gonna cause drama for on the graphics from Twitter. The yeah, standings, and this is ah, oh, this is so annoying. I can't believe it. Well, look, that was a fun race. You know, the fact we didn't have any safety cars as well—it was non-stop. It's quite rare. We normally end up with at least one VSC or a safety car, but that was a first and. It was yeah. a hunt all the way to the end, but Connell, well deserved. You know, it's, although it's not his first win, that's his first, you know, proper deserved. You know, as in, he finished P1, yeah, deserved that. Great job. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, and especially around a track like Hungary, not getting yeah. any safety cars, virtual or full course, is uh, yeah. it's something else. So if we can do that tomorrow. Then uh, we'll be on the <laughs> Let's actually get the racing point on screen. Would have been the Williams last season. Racing point now. I will invite the guys to the commentary box. It is Connell, Charlie, and Ray. Charlie gained 12 positions. Oh my days. J Pren is 15 positions. Charlie joined already. I think Connell and Reggae will be following him pretty soon. Well, people gaining some positions like no tomorrow. Dan as well. 11. Baker 11. And of course, we've got some people losing positions as well. Joe, Mars. Uh, Robert, Jacek, Dylan, shame for those guys. We've got Connell and Charlie in already, I'm just gonna start off with Charlie. Ah, there's Reggae as well, you love to see it. We're gonna start off with P3, like we always do. Charlie, what a brilliant race you drove today. Um, great recovery already up into P5, I think it was after two laps. Great start. Um, yeah, you, you negotiated the traffic and all the cars in front pretty well was it chaotic or was it quite interesting for you oh charlie um we can't hear you on stream so I don't know if you've got your uh, thing on allowed to be shared. Is that on? <laughs> Kels is like finding out that all the Danish guys know Dutch words and it's not the Dutch words you want to learn. Is that better? Yeah, we can hear you on stream. Say it once again, yeah, mate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, so yeah, uh, like I started 15th, so uh, the first lap had to be like literally the most best lap out of my entire life. Because <laughs> I knew Connor and out were up front, so yeah, and I had the medium tyres, so um, the strat was to literally go crazy on that and then go to the hards near the end because everyone would be chasing on their hard, uh, the soft to the hards, so I knew the hards would be uh, a bit worn for those guys, but it was just push, push, push all day long, and I think. Halfway through the race, uh, I think I got like six second penalty, and then near the end I got a nine second, and I was just like, ah, oh, it's game over now. Because I tried to keep the three, I tried to keep the, uh, uh, I had to keep Rage behind me with that just over three seconds. It's about 3.2, 3.4, and, uh, and then I got, and then I got the three second at the end. So yeah, yeah really yeah. unlucky, uh, but still a great recovery drive. Really well done, and uh, taking a pre free, absolutely brilliant result, mate. Enjoy it. Mm, thanks, man. Going on to Reggae in P2. Um, 
Yeah, really well. Driven race, mate. Took P2 at the end on penalties. Um, were you expecting to be on the podium at the end of this race, or was it still a surprise to you? Well, I went into this race quite open-minded, to be honest, because I had not done any practice again, due to having massive amounts of schoolwork to do all day. So I'm um, quite surprised I got P2, to be honest. Yeah, you drove uh, Yeah, quite a confident race. Disappointed about not taking the victory, or was it just not going to be it today? Yeah, I had no chance against Conal today, and uh, when he pitted on lap 7, and he got the massive undercut, like 3-4 seconds and also 3-4 cars, so it was over there. Yeah, there was a big gap when Conal pitted, but you took a brilliant P2 at the end, mate. Really well done, congratulations, enjoy it. Thank you. Going to a race winner now, Connell, really well done on taking the victory. You had some problems with Harold, but he spun it um, a couple of laps after you guys pit it. And after that one, it was like cruising it home. Did it feel like that for you as well, or was it a little bit more nerve-wracking? Um, yeah, first of all, just congratulations to the two boys on the podium. Um, Charlie really had me shaking there at the end i saw him gaining and i was like well this guy's really quick at the end so fair play to him and fair play to raji with the no practice and things but uh yeah um i was obviously not as quick as harold and i know he is very quick so i was just like i'll be very happy with a p2 even a podium you know and um when he spun and to be honest i was so zoned in and nervous at the same time i didn't even notice him spinning um, I was like, am I in P1? I looked at the thing and I said, I have P1. I was like, what? What just happened? I didn't even realize. And I was asking the lads in the party, like, lads, can you go onto the cost stream and just check really quick, am I in P1? I don't know what's happening. And then he was in P19 in front of me and it was just crazy. I had no idea what was going on. Uh, yeah, so very, very nerve wracking to say the least, especially around here. You kind of have to be focused 24 7 around this track, you know. Turn, turn four and turn five uh, can take you off very easily, you know? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, you had a cool qualifying session. Good race at the end. Um, yeah, a little bit of a... Oh, I can say... I don't really want to say disappointing result last week. You still scored some points, though. Um, I know it's really early on in the season, but do you think you can challenge for the championship this season? Um, I suppose I'd like... I don't want to curse myself now or anything, but I, I suppose I'll stay open-minded. Um, I'd love to, I'd love to fight for a top five or something like that. Because you know, um, luck with me kind of comes and goes. So, uh, you know, yeah, I'd like to think I could, but I'd be, I'd be very happy. My kind of, I suppose, my goal would be to be higher than I would was last season. You know, um, so that would be my, that would be the safe option to say. So yeah. Um, if I keep going at this pace and just keep putting in the hours and keep practicing, um, I can get faster and faster. So I'd like to see where that comes out, you know? Yeah, at least uh, Jacek uh, thinks uh, you can do it, mate. So you've got at least one, uh, one supporter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, Jacek, uh, he's apparently my number one fan. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so a bit unfortunate with his internet, but hopefully he can get that sorted because, uh, you know, he's very quick as well. So we can get a good constructors going as well. So, yeah. So yeah, thanks yeah, very much great anyway. teamwork from both you guys. Hopefully you guys can both be on track next week. Yeah, uh, for now, enjoy the P1, <laughs> mate. Really well driven, thanks and uh, see much. you next thanks week. So with that, it rounds off the stream for today. Want to congratulate all the guys on the podium. Really well done by you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. We had over 40 people on average watching today, so that's absolutely amazing um thank you lewis once again for joining the comment with me it was a pleasure as always yeah great race well done everyone uh, well done uh top three and uh you'll see you again next week for more at monaco at monaco the big one yeah. um, i'm not here for that <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to miss it <laughs> <laughs> have a good one <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you don't want to miss that one. But first of all, we've got a whole race week still to go. We've got um, AU2 and AM2 on the Tuesday. We've got AM1 and AU1 on the Wednesday. We've got AU4 on the Thursday. And then we've got the endurance tiers on Japan. So different calendar for those guys. We had the both. We both had the same opening Grand Prix, but it will be different for them this time round. So make sure you tune in for that one as well. And I racing on the Sunday, of course. Um, I want to all. I want to thank you all for tuning in. And as I always say, stay safe and goodbye.